So welcome to this lecture of highway engineering. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the most important material that is used for highway construction and which is soil. We know that a highway is constructed in a number of layers and these layers are the lowest layer is our embankment. Above it, there is a subgrade layer and above it, there is a drainage layer and the topmost layer is the, our pavement layer. This is our ground level, GL. The drawing is just for an idea. So pavement are of basically two types. The first one is flexible and the second one is rigid. Flexible pavement are our bituminous pavements and rigid pavements are our concrete, cement concrete pavements. They are made up of cement concrete slabs. Embankment can be made by nearly available soils and these soils can include debris which is the construction material the waste construction uh, the waste construction material or the broken construction material so this embankment layer is not made up of pure soil and this embankment layer can be made by nearly available soils or from the excavation of constructions so it is not given that importance and this layer is made and compacted and above it there is a subgrade layer so this subgrade is going to take all the loading and it's going to provide the adequate support to the pavement layer. So this subgrade is of most importance. Since it is of most importance, it is made up of superior soils. And these soils are borrowed and used for the construction of subgrade. What will happen if our subgrade is in poor condition? If you have seen the formation of ways, if it, this, is a, uh, this is a longitudinal map of a uh, road and if you have seen this type of waves forming on on the road and this happens due to poor subgrade conditions or waves corrugation rutting and shoving of flexible pavements whereas the phenomenon of pumping blowing and consequent cracking in cement concrete pavements is due to the subgrade conditions due to the poor subgrade conditions so our subgrade is given the most importance and it is made up of superior soils now let's talk about desirable properties so what are the properties that we desire from our soil that we are going to use in our construction the first one is stability we are not going to give much focus on these properties but we need to be clear about these properties so the first one is stability our soil should be stable second one is our incompressibility our soil should not be compressible under heavy loading and our next point is permanency of strength. The strength should be permanent and uniform throughout its lifespan. Our fourth point is minimum changes can be accepted. Minimum changes, what does it mean by minimum changes? Like in adverse condition, in adverse rainfall, in heavy rainfall, in heavy snowfall, in high temperature, in the lowest temperature, like minimum changes can be accepted under adverse conditions under adverse condition but not in normal conditions the fifth one is there should be good drainage and the sixth point is our soil should be workable and there should be ease of compaction so these are the six desirable properties that we desire from our soil the first one is stability second is incompressibility the third one is permanency of strength the fourth one is minimum changes can be accepted under adverse conditions all right and the fifth one is good drainage and drainage and the sixth one is ease of compaction we need not to know much about soil in highway engineering because highway engineering is completely different from soil mechanics soil has various properties and there are various type of soils their origin and compaction and consolidation and so many terms and we cannot deal with all the terms in highway engineering we just need to know that our soil is desirable for construction or not um, so in highway engineering we just need to know that our soil possess these properties or not by doing some tests for our construction purposes